Hey y'all, I am back with another video. It has been so long and I'm so sorry, but we are here and I'm so excited to do this. I'm going to be doing Dragon Sheep's Hybrid Challenge Part 3. This one is with a little twist. So how you would normally play it is you have a chart with all the different types of dragons in Wings of Fire and you click it twice and those two numbers that you get you have to make a hybrid with but i'm going to be doing it three times since it is part three i had a lot of fun trying to do a three-way and this is going to be very interesting on my first roll i got a rain wing a sea wing and a sand wing and i actually drew him like a month or two ago i don't even remember when i drew him so i lost the footage of me rolling the the number generator so you're just gonna have to trust me on this one <laughs> I wanted him to be predominantly C-wing, um, so I made sure to incorporate the C-wing fins, but then throw in a bit of rain wing, the fin, and just rain wing body shape, and then I drew, I threw in some sand wing scales, C-wing lights um, on his, like the C-wing light up scales, and I decided to make him a little more interesting to make him all beat up, if you see, I went from a happy, nice little dragon to an absolute warlord. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was bored, and I was like, you know what? We're going to go all out. Um, <laughs> so my backstory for him, and I normally ask y'all to do a backstory, and you totally can along with me, but I made a backstory for him. Uh, he's a gift from Burn to Queen Scarlet, and she used him a lot in the arenas. Now, she would never let him die, so before he would die or get killed by his opponent, she would pull him out, but it left him really scarred and really messed up. And he doesn't have the ability to spit venom, otherwise Queen Scarlet would know about glory in the first book. But yeah, I just really liked that idea, and yeah, he looks really rough, but <laughs> you know, I love him, so it's okay. <laughs> he is missing a leg, he is torn up all over his wings, and is severely scarred all over his face and body. Um, I almost feel bad, in a way, <laughs> but as I was coloring him, I love to base these hybrids off of real-world animals, and I thought of a piranha, since it's a tropical fish, um, and I just kind of felt like sea wing, rain wing, and even a bit of sand wing could work with that. So I named him Piranha, and I based his colors heavily off of a piranha fish, and I thought that worked out so well. I think he I really liked his coloring. And then I added like little speckles to his wings. Not because he's a nightwing, just because piranhas kind of have like golden flecks in their scales. And I thought it would be cool. So yeah. <laughs> as far as abilities, he has sea wing light up scales and he could swim really well because he has webbed feet, but you can't really see that. Um, he cannot breathe underwater though, and he breathes fire. And he also has a sea wing tail, so the the strong tail part of it of the sea wing is also an ability of his. I definitely think I could have done a better job with incorporating more rain wing and even a little more sand wing, but I was trying, I was still testing the waters because I'd never done a three-way hybrid. But overall, for my first one, I think he came out really cool and I like his name and design. So here I actually screen recorded <laughs> and I didn't lose the footage. I got a 9, a 1, and a 3, and I accidentally flipped my phone the wrong way. <laughs> That's embarrassing. But a 9, a 1, and a 3, so I got a mud wing, a sky wing, and a hive wing. And I was kind of excited for this one because, like, I was just thinking the four wings of a hive wing plus the gigantic wings of a sky wing would create a super fast a dragon. So that's kind of where I based his story behind. You could see I have notes on the side because it's just kind of hard trying to keep track of three different kinds of dragons to incorporate and when you like it's easier to have a notes on the side for what you wanted to do and also I was kind of struggling with his um his front profile I was I don't know why I didn't like it and I don't know why I couldn't make it look better it just it was rough but basically this guy's story I'm not gonna say his name yet till I reveal it at the end um <laughs> this guy's story is he is the fastest dragon in all of Phyra and Pantala I hope I'm saying that right. I always said it like that, but I had one friend say I was saying it wrong, and I don't know if I am or not. <laughs> but he's the fastest dragon in all of the Wings of Fire world, and he's very competitive, hence why he has like a nasty looking attitude. He's really nice when you get to know him, but he's a very competitive person. 
he has a really weird mesh of hive wing and sky wing horns like he has the hive wing horn shape but the sky wing horn texture i accidentally did that but i kind of liked it um he's got a mud wing body um sky wing lungs he has sky wing wings but he has two of them so they're both obscenely large and also um there's two so he goes he has extra wing power thanks to his hive wing heritage he also has a stinger and he could um hold his breath for under an hour which like a mud wing can while coloring him i was just thinking warm tones since all three of the dragons have warmer tones um so i just went with a dark red orange yellows and I think I really liked his colorings. I didn't really know what animal to relate him to, but I I looked online for like different beetles and stuff like that and swamp bugs, and I ended up doing dragon off like a dragonfly. That's his name. I named him Dragonfly because they're in you you find them in the swamp. They're very fast, which is kind of his thing. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I just felt like it was quite fitting. I think maybe that name has been used in the books. Uh, I'm not sure though, and I don't think it really matters, so it's okay. <laughs> it's kind of like humans. Humans are going to have the same names, so dragons could have the same names. Um, I really liked how he looks. I feel like I, again, could have incorporated more Mudwing. I, I struggled with that because um, I'd never done three-way hybrids before, but I, in the end, I still really liked how he looks, so this is Dragonfly. I rolled a 4, a 10, and a 2 on the last dragon which is a sea wing, a leaf wing, and a sand wing hybrid. And I was kind of excited to do this one because I love leaf wing hybrids. They always come out really pretty. And I wanted a second chance at a sea wing, sand wing hybrid since I feel like Piranha was a little bit too sea wing. I incorporated um, details like the sand wing face structure, but I also incorporated little things like leaf wing scales on her face, sea wing horns and then the sea wing like little flecks at the bottom of her chin i normally don't draw those even if i'm doing a pure sea wing just because i don't find them kind of i don't really like them so i just don't draw them but i think it actually works for her it, it 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 works i like it her design for some reason was the easiest out of all three i just didn't struggle i don't know why i just kind of knew exactly what i wanted to i wanted her to look like and it just came out really clear and I wanted her to be pretty like that's part of her thing because my little story for her is that she is a dancer in the scorpion den and she makes her money by like performing and she I add a lot of jewelry to her and I like just to show that she is kind of rich she's a, she's a little spoiled but I love her for that <laughs> I gave her a sand wing-esque body with leaf wing scales, sea wing gills, and sea wing webbed feet, as well as the sea wing fin. I gave her the sand wing tail, the nice little dagger, which I love. Um, and then I also gave her leaf wing wings. And I feel like this one out of all three, I did the best with incorporating all three of the dragons. Um, and I'm very proud of this one. And then I also decided to make her leaf wing scales diamond shaped because I wanted to incorporate more sand wing. Cause I feel like I didn't include enough. Um, so I made the leaf wing scales diamond shape, which I think look really unique and pretty. And I also made her back spine scales a little more diamond shape instead of just straight like a leaf wing would normally have. And then I'm just finishing up her cute jewelry and I drew a nose ring on her, which I don't recall if I have I feel like I have but I don't remember but I really liked it it just fit her character and then coloring her was very fun um because I had like three different color palettes to work with um mostly green but a little bit of that warm yellowish because of the sand wing and I incorporated that and I accidentally kind of made her look a little bit like Pebble my OC um just with the like the blue, it's not blue, it's green, but like the more bluish green with the sand wing fin, like the sand wing colored fin and wings and then a pink underbody. I don't know, I accidentally did that, but I guess my brain just likes that combination of colors. <laughs> um, and then I made her uh, leaf wing scales like little different spots of turquoise blue and greens. Um, I guess you could say the coral 
part of her stomach could be like a mix of her sand wing and the sea wing part and even leaf wing because leaf wings have had like warmer leaf colors um i just really like how she turned out just her whole color palette her vibe her story um she's just known as a beauty in the wings of fire world i don't know which era this is placed in and honestly i'm kind of behind on the books i'm two books behind and i have had no time to read this semester has been one of the worst <laughs> but it's almost over and next semester i will have more time i miss you guys so much like i'm not joking when i say i drew these dragons like months apart i think i drew piranha two months ago and then i drew dragonfly like a month ago and then i drew her like two weeks ago i have just been so flooded with school but I'm going to give myself a break next semester and I'm not going to take as many insane classes. So hopefully I'll be able to draw more for y'all because honestly it makes me sad when I don't get to draw. And I really enjoy doing it and I love uploading videos and making content for you guys. And I'm sorry if I'm really bad at uploading sometimes. <laughs> I'm sorry. By the way, sorry if you hear my brother making music in the background. I can't stop him. <laughs> I decided to name her Palm. I know that's an existing name, but again, I don't really care <laughs> um, because it's like an ocean, sandy, leafy plant, and I thought that was kind of perfect. <laughs> so yeah, give me any feedback on this video. You can write your own backstories for these characters or add on to the backstories that I gave. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and have a wonderful day.